Hi everyone and welcome back to Arctic RC. It's been a while now but we are back again. Everyone is at good health and I thought I was going to do a small uh, review of the Twin Otter from uh, Hangar 9. Um, sadly, uh, not a lot of people <laughs> read the info sections so I got some questions about uh, what we have fitted in this airplane and so on so we are going to do a sort of a short video of that and show you the airplane a little bit closer so that you can see how we have mounted the ESCs and so on um, sadly this uh, plane is not to be found anywhere at these days uh, Hangar 9 uh, made a small batch of them and then just stopped producing them a beautiful airplane it flies on rails and um, sadly sadly uh, they are discontinued um, if by any means or any hope <laughs> any of the big brands are watching this video please start producing uh, these bigger twin otters again um, you can make them in foam I don't think I don't think it's any difference of course um, this one is in um, composite and balsa uh, it would have been uh, beautiful to have a clean one in composite of course but then again affordable make them in foam make them with more than two meter wingspan uh, I'm just sick and tired of everything that's uh, being released now by Horizon or eFlights um, these smaller twin otters they are no fun to fly we want them bigger so even though e-flights step up your game and start producing bigger twin otters with scale lighting that would have been just beautiful so let's get to it so we went for dual sky motors and they are the ECO 2826C version 2 and they are 850 kV. We are using the Avian 60 amp ESC. Uh, one of the reasons that we are using Avian is because we are using Spectrum and I have reverse on this, um, a brake reverse on these uh, ESCs and that is cool because then you can actually taxi in reverse. On asphalt the plane will roll longer so you can just switch it and give full power in reverse and the plane will stop. Uh, I think it's a beautiful feature and sort of a little bit scale as well as the turboprop that was in the twin otter. They are with a, a variable pitch prop that means that you change the pitch on the props and you can turn them all the way around so actually they break. Um, the batteries we are using is uh, Spectrum Smart Batteries. You can get a lot of cheaper batteries than these ones. But we are using the 4000 uh, milliamp batteries for cell. Uh, one of the reasons that I'm using them is that it has a uh, smart function so that I can control everything on my radio to check if how much voltage I have left and so on. And I can also get information uh, about the ESC on my radio. Um, the propellers are uh, uh, Master Air Screw, three bladed ones, and they are 12 by 6, uh, and it's a control rotating setup. So I have uh, one pusher and one puller. The spinners are uh, ordinary three bladed spinners, but what I have done is that I, you have sort of this half cut in the spinners. I just continue that half cut around so that it will fit the control rotating um, one as well. Uh, we're going to take a closer look at that in a minute. Uh, and that means you got a more scale appearance. It's very hard to find control uh, rotating spinners or left and right spinners if you can call them that. But uh, there are no problems uh, modifying them yourself. Uh, the other thing is that the uh, prop hub on the uh, dual sky uh, motors are a bit short so when you're buying a motor 
buy motors with longer uh, prop hubs make sure that they have longer prop hubs uh, the prop hubs on um, the dual sky one are a little over two centimeters and that is a little bit uh, on the short side because the master air screw propellers now they are meant for both nitro and electric so they are a bit thick but anyway we made it we made the fit and it flies great and uh, yeah well that's about it the lights I bought from Unilight there are no special setups I haven't fall uh, been following any plans or so on uh, I just uh, wanted um, nav lights on the wings with strobes and uh, I ordered that and I ordered two um, uh, wing leds for the the landing lights and of course I ordered a little bit uh, of a uh, bigger nose wheel light uh, just so that it will be visible the original light is a bit smaller um, but that's a preference for you so you don't have to follow a certain pattern but for the most scale look you should do uh, I have a red beacon in the belly and I have a red beacon in the back on the tip of the side rudder so or the vertical stabilizer as it's also called. Um, just going to put some batteries in now and we will start walking around the airplane. So let me just show you uh, the bottom here so you can see the batteries. As you can see, four cell batteries, they fit perfectly in here. You can even have a little bit bigger. There is a bit noise from the servos, but they are uh, digital, so it's meant to be that. Here you can see the red beacons. Uh, this is the startup. So red beacon means that the plane is in startup mode. And on a switch my light switch in position 2 I will have uh, nav lights and strobes on the wings you can't see them that good right now yeah now you can see it a pretty, pretty beautiful um, the nav lights the colored light red and green and of course the strobe on the front here so when it's in the air it's just visual a beauty uh, let us Check out the landing lights. So when I'm doing uh, this video now, just make sure that you know um, the plane is set on throttle cups. Um, the newer receivers from uh, Spectrum, you can go into um, settings on your radio forward programming, and of course also set up your uh, fail safe in a very easy way so you have seen uh, the red beacon you have seen uh, the nav light with the strobes and now we are going to the good stuff and that is what is going to kill my camera I think <laughs> let me see here um, just going to get that and of course here are the landing lights let me just these, these are so bright, they are insane bright. Uh, all the flights that we have with it, we, when you just have flown for a while and you're going to find your landing line and you've done your turn and the plane is coming in with the full flaps and everything and you just put on these lights, it's just like watching the real thing and it's just beautiful. Um, I really really love it uh, it's not that much work to fix and put uh, play um, the LED lights in or the uni lights uh, but I'm not too good with wiring so it's a mess inside uh, so when you are doing this or you're going to mm. modify your uh, twin order make sure that you know how to solder and how to make perhaps easy connectors so that um, Connecting all the wires when you are at the airfield will not take too long. Um, 
this one now will never be uh, taken apart again because I've made a special rack for it in my hangar or my my um, yeah you know uh, my trailer <laughs> and uh, so for me it's just to install the batteries and fly uh, but she's a beauty you can't argue with that really really a beauty now we're going to do some tests with the motors I'm going to turn off the landing lights so the motor setup as you know is uh, forward and reverse on this because we have the uh, avian ESC's uh, now nowadays uh, you will get many other ESC that will have the reverse function on them so you're not uh, you, you do not need to buy avian ESC's so I'm going to hold the nose wheel here because um, it is a bit speed on this um, it's a powerful setup, just to say that, a, a quite powerful setup. It's meant for a three cell setup and with smaller motors. Uh, and uh, I'm not sure why I did go for uh, a higher trust ratio, but uh, well, uh, I can also meet another problem and that is speed stalling. So I need to be very controlled when flying uh, this plane. I have differential settings on the aileron uh, just to make it a bit better. It's a high wing plane and as you can see there is a bit V-shape on it. So uh, when you fly it and you let go of the stick, she will sort of balance out uh, a beautiful, beautiful plane. Uh, we are going to put off the throttle uh, cut switch and right now she should go forward. Beautiful. Beautiful sound on the motors and we can I can just show you with a little bit of speed like this. I just switch the uh, reverse switch. The best thing to do is, of course, wait for the propellers to stop or uh, it's not a good idea to rip it in reverse when the motors are in half throttle, uh, uh, half throttle and so on because you can break the motors. So a good thing to do when you're landing, for example, is you have like this speed, throttle all the way down and then when you switch you will activate a brake before it go in reverse so now we have it in reverse <laughs> it is a powerful setup indeed beautiful so back on with the throttle cuts like that and we are good to go. Let's go around the play now. I'm going to hook off the camera and show you a little bit the lights and so on. So um, there you have it. That is the Hangar 9 Twin Otter. You have my setup and if you can get if you can get your hand on one, just do it. Even if it is a second hand. I would highly recommend this airplane. I know that uh, VQ models also have one, it's a 1.7 or 1.8 meter wingspan, but it's not, it's not that scale. The nose wheel on this one is beautiful. You can change that on the VQ model, of course, but then again, it is so beautiful. So it is one of my favorite airplanes. Uh, I'm a bit fri uh, I'm a bit afraid to fly it because I'm so scared that I'm going to crash it. So I've been wondering about selling it. I will not ship it to America. <laughs> but um, but uh, then again, it is what it is. So um, perhaps I will just fly it and uh, yeah, what happens, happens. So I made a hole in the firewall. Uh, it's not uh, beauty work, but that is for more cooling for the ESC because for you guys that saw the maiden flight, uh, I had problems with the ESCs shutting down because they were too hot. Uh, now there's no problem at all.
So here we can see how I cut the spinner. Just made a circle around and it will fit both sides. And as you can see, uh, there's a lot of room for batteries here, but I need to cut down those bolts, as you can see, because they can rip hole in the batteries. So uh, I will cut them down and put a plywood plate in front of them so they will not be in touch with the battery. Vertical fin beacon. And belly beacon. Green nav light with the strobe and red nav light with a strobe. Beautiful. And wing landing lights. And the nose wheel landing lights. So that is it my friends and subscribers. Um, it is the Hangar 9 Twin Otter and all the goodies that's in it. Um, on the next video we are going to have a half year startup on the Wilga because it's been sitting now for uh, almost four months on the shelf and we need to start it up, uh, let it run for half an hour so that the motor is more healthy uh, towards when we are going to start flying it again and we still need some more tune up on the engine so it will be great for it just to run on idle for a little bit but um, for today it is the twin order with a Unilite electric setup. Until next time, see you guys. Have a great weekend and I will check in again pretty soon.